Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares much forth, the Creator incarnate. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. 1 Timothy 3 verse 16 The incarnation of Christ is the mystery of all mysteries. Christ was one with the Father, yet he was willing to step down from the exaltation of one who was equal with God. That he might accomplish his purpose of love for the fallen race, he became bone of our bone and flesh of our flesh. How wide is the contrast between the divinity of Christ and the helpless infant in Bethlehem's manger? How can we span the distance between the mighty God and a helpless child? And yet the creator of worlds, he in whom was the fullness of the Godhead bodily, was manifest in the helpless babe in the manger. Far higher than any of the angels, equal with the Father in dignity and glory, and yet wearing the garb of humanity. Divinity and humanity were mysteriously combined, and man and God became one. It would have been an almost infinite humiliation for the Son of God to take man's nature even when Adam stood in his innocence in Eden. But Jesus accepted humanity when the race had been weakened by 4,000 years of sin. Like every child of Adam, he accepted the results of the working of the great law of heredity. What these results were is shown in the history of his earthly ancestors. He came with such a heredity to share our sorrows and temptations, and to give us the example of a sinless life. Those who claim that it was not possible for Christ to sin cannot believe that he really took upon himself human nature. But was not Christ actually tempted, not only by Satan in the wilderness, but all through his life, from childhood to manhood? Our Savior took humanity with all its liabilities. He took the nature of man with the possibility of yielding to temptation. We have nothing to bear which he has not endured. Our Father cares much forth.